What an exciting day as the Bitcoin leverage two-time ETF launches. Just kidding. You guys know I'm not very, very excited about this. However, a lot of people are. We're going to talk about the reasons why people are excited about the Bitcoin ETFs being launched and a new massive player just stepped into the game allegedly and could potentially be filing for their own Bitcoin spot ETF. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, please set alerts and push this out. We need people to understand the basics as to what is happening with traditional finance coming into Bitcoin and crypto assets. Welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. I'm Wendy O and we are live from my trailer on the set of Killer Whales in LA. How fun. Yes, you guys, I'm very excited to be on the set of Killer Whales, but I'm just not very excited about these Bitcoin ETFs. Reason being, traditional finance is coming in and they are buying up our bags. When you purchase a traditional investment product like a Bitcoin ETF, etc., you no longer have the ability to custody your coins, to actually own your coins. You're allowing TradFi big institutions to come in. But some people like that. Some people need that. And I don't shame you for that. However, we should understand the implications of this. This is important. Let's also talk about what this Bitcoin leveraged ETF is and how it works. But before we do that, it was alleged rumor that Fidelity is going to be filing for a Bitcoin spot ETF. This makes complete sense because Fidelity, along with Charles Schwab and Citadel, opened a crypto exchange, EDX. You can actively trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and of course, everybody's favorite, Bitcoin Cash. Just kidding. This would make total sense because BlackRock filed for their Bitcoin spot ETF on June 15. Along with BlackRock, we saw some other pretty big names, Invesco, Bitwise, it would be many of these companies second time requesting to be approved for the Bitcoin spot ETF via the SEC. Also an important tidbit here, Fidelity manages approximately $11 trillion in assets. So we have another big giant coming into the space. And per their website, they have a very long history of being bullish on Bitcoin and crypto assets. Apparently in 2014, they started mining Bitcoin. But do you guys remember when traditional finance said they don't like Bitcoin, they don't like crypto assets, it was bad? Very interesting, right? And I hope you all remember if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, we talked about these traditional financial entities actually being a part of the crypto and Bitcoin space, but doing it low key at OTC desks and other separate entities, shell companies. That's what these guys are doing. Mainstream media will tell you they are not fans of crypto assets, but here they are. Also too, per the Fidelity's website, in 2018, Fidelity Digital Assets offered institutional custody and trading platform for crypto assets. Yes, that means not for you because you're poor, because you're retail, institutional clients only. So again, a barrier to entry. And that I have a big problem with. I really believe with launching these Bitcoin spot ETFs or any types of Bitcoin ETFs, we're gonna continue to see this stuff happen and retail will not be able to have equal access to traditional financial products because we can't get accredited due to our income. And last but not least, let's talk about the Bitcoin leverage two times ETF that launched today that the SEC approved, which is absolutely wild to me because the SEC's job is supposed to be to protect us. But instead of approving a spot Bitcoin ETF like they could have done with Grayscale and other crypto asset companies, they approved a Bitcoin leverage ETF. Leverage is for this one is two times. The way that this works is you can put up half the amount you want to invest in this initial project causing more risk. Putting up half your exposure does cause more risk because it's not necessarily a spot and the markets are very, very volatile. So again, they allowed a product that carries more risk to be approved while they're just not approving Bitcoin spot ETF. So to me, that aspect doesn't make sense. But again, it's a political game. It's a lot of bureaucracy. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you understand what's happening with the Bitcoin ETFs and all the insane money coming in from traditional finance and why this could be bullish for Bitcoin price long term. But at the end of the day, it is going to cause issues for people not being able to safely custody their coins because a lot of people are going to get lazy, especially in America, and just go through these TradFi entities. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.